uh, just wanted to make a quick video about speciesism basically because uh, I see so many comments all the time where people seem offended because I'll make the comparison between say a dog and a cat and a farm animal. Well, yeah, it's because they are the same and the only place that they're different is inside your mind, I'm afraid. I mean, you go to a country like India, for example, and the idea of murdering and eating a cow is absolutely abhorrent the same way as it would be to me but yet go one country over to Pakistan, for example, and that's pig, that you're not supposed to eat pork. So, and that's a, it's, it's, you know, these are all to do with what people's backgrounds are, how they were brought up, what they were taught, what they were influenced by. There's, n there's no rules. It's not like this, this can't be used as food and this can't be used as pet. If there was, then the rule should be no animal should be used as food. Like, those should be the rules. That should be what offends you. It shouldn't be that some animals are used for food and some aren't, or in some countries they think that they can use animals that you would consider pets as food, because there's no difference between you. You getting offended by people eating dogs and cats is no different than me getting offended by you eating bacon. The only difference is you want something to be done about that and you don't give a shit about me pointing out what you're doing wrong you don't care you get annoyed about it and you'll tell me that i'm a preachy vegan or whatever but are you not a preachy dog or cat lover when you moan about the yulin festival are you not a preachy frog lover when you moan about them eating frog's legs in france of course you are in the same way that i want this to stop you don't like it it upsets you it offends you or whatever because in your mind you've decided that those animals shouldn't be eaten well, in my mind, no animal should be eaten. That's the only difference. You're getting annoyed, but the reality is you can go to all these different countries and continents around the world and they've all got a different viewpoint. In their mind, this animal is okay to eat and this one isn't, or this one is okay to eat and this one isn't, or this one would be okay to eat, but we can't catch it. For example, they haven't, you know, no matter where you go, they'll have a different viewpoint, different things, different backgrounds, different ethnicities, everything has all contributed to what they think. It doesn't make it right. All of this was made by humans. All of this was decided by humans. It doesn't matter how far back we go in time. It was all humanity. They decided that we want to eat pigs or we want to eat sheep or in for other countries that don't want to eat it because it's dirty or whatever it is. This has all been decided by men once upon a time, ignorant men that thought they knew the world much better than what they did. And when you sit here and preach and go, oh, well, there's a massive difference between a dog or a fucking cow. The only place there is a difference is in your head. And you're just another one of these ignorant people just the same as once upon a time wrote these religious books and texts and everything else that people recite as though they're gospel truth when in reality there's nothing to back them up. You are just being one of those people. You are perpetuating a myth and an illusion because it suits you. It suits your conscience. It makes you feel better because you don't have to make the connection. If you look at a cow and think, shit, I've got a dog and it's like me eating my dog, you ain't going to want to eat the cow anymore. So it's easier for you to think those are two different things.